Two out of the three walls in my shop are pretty well organized, nice and neat. Except this wall. This is wall number three. And most importantly, this corner is just the junk corner. I always throw crap over here. So I'm going to clean all this out and build a plywood rack to go into that corner. Exactly sure the proper terminology for this, but the way that this garage is built is it has a concrete perimeter footing that is poured and then a floating slab on the inside of that. Now, on top of the footing is a piece of two by material that the wall is built on top of, and that's the elevation in which I want this plywood rack to be built on top of. That way, it's off the ground if water ever comes in here, and it just gives me the most area into this corner. Now, basically, what this is going to be is two vertical divisions giving two roughly eight inch wide openings to store a bunch of plywood in between projects. Now I understand this isn't going to be the most, uh, the, the easiest way to load and unload plywood and it is going to be vertical. It may be a little bit cumbersome to actually use, but I'll barely ever be using it. The vast majority of the time it's just going to be storing plywood. And as far as storing plywood goes, this is the most efficient use of space here in the shop. I've got these sub-assemblies standing on their end where I can work on the top and bottom. And I'm going to attach some 2x4 boards to the end over here. You can see my line. That's going to be lined up with these 2x4s. And to the right of my thumb, I've got two lines here. And that's going to be to this 2x4. So it'll give me some guidelines. And this vertical side over here will be into the garage. And this empty side over here will be up against the wall. I couldn't get it all the way into the corner and I think that's actually going to be okay. Number one, because of that bolt right there, I would have to notch out right here. And I was going to do that, but then I realized I've got another bolt right there stopping the whole thing from moving this way. And really it's not exactly necessary because this side is still being supported by this lip. And there's no way to get this flush up against the drywall anyway because of this piece of baseboard. So what's the point in being... Uh, you know, one inch from the baseboard or one inch from the drywall, it really doesn't matter. So the 48 inch sheet goods comes out to be like right here. That's fine. It's good enough by me. I'm going to secure all of these down right there. Secure this end right here. And then uh, jack this up depending on what uh, height I need to have right here. So that the top of it goes up against the wall.
there in the top, I had to secure it horizontal two by four to the wall, uh, to the wall studs, and then secure the rack itself, those two arms, to the bottom of it. And then on the bottom side, of course, each individual arm is secured to the foundation perimeter. And then this two by six and some uh, hardwood spacers elevated it to its proper height. And that is good enough for me.